I think um, I think it's pretty awesome to to take what seems very intuitive and very logical um, when you talk about it and actually put it into paper. These are things that I think everybody processes at, at one point in time, whatever point in life you're at. Um, I think taking the logic out of a thought and applying it to paper and then putting it in a way that can be methodical and you can actually go through a process of um, identifying what some of the challenges are and then at the same time giving you milestones to be able to quantify what those challenges are and as you progress through the through the process to watch that um, those uh, those things starting to improve which ultimately you know the whole concept with life calibration is literally that like recalibrating things you know with the first thing being you've got to identify what you're trying to calibrate at the end of the day and then and then have something to quantify improvement over a period of time and the thing that I, I think the thing that I like the most about life calibration is the fact that you don't truly define it um, for an individual at the end of the day it's for that individual to define it for themselves which then allows them to accomplish whatever goal that they're choosing to. And it, it's irrelevant whether you agree with that goal or not. It's a matter of going from, you know, goal A to goal B, and that might be a very small increment. And so I think that, you know, the ability to create awareness, create milestones that someone can gauge, um, and you're constantly re-looking at this process, you know, month over month, year over year, and what I've learned in life is that you're never done growing. You're never done learning. You're never smart. You're always getting smarter. Um, and this is just one more example of it. You know, when you think you've got it all figured out, you, you very quickly learn that you really don't have anything figured out. And so you got to keep looking backwards to keep moving forwards. And so it's, I think that's the, the value of what I found inside of this and why I was excited about when you have presented it. And I, <clears throat> I agree and I love the, um, what you've done is you've taken the, 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 you're majoring on the majors of life and that's your personal health, whether that's mental and physical health and your personal, your personal relationships, probably arguably the two biggest categories of your life and then you're pulling together work, which really uh, people find a lot of meaning and value in their work, but that really kind of fun, that really funds at the end of the day, the most important aspects of your life, which is your family, your, your spouses, your significant others, your children and in your health, and I think we've learned in the last year, those are <clears throat> the two things when everything else is taken away, um, whether it's money or jobs or, um, and, and even when health, when health with a pandemic comes to threaten our health, we realize how much we value that and we run to those areas. So it, it's a great plan that kind of um, uh, objectifies and measures the, the you know, majors, the majoring on the majors of life, which is your personal relationships and all those all of those dovetail together to optimal health and so when you're focusing on your personal health and your relationships those those um build together to give you the the best health possible and the best quality of life so how does exercise nutrition and sleep integrate overall and affect our health both in our body and our mental well-being yeah i think um I think they all have symbiotic relationships at the end of the day, right? I mean, you can you can eat and exercise, you know, as healthy as you want, and if you're not getting the the rest of, that you need, then something's going to be sacrificed. And and so, you know, one of these components don't don't work, or they're definitely not optimized without looking at all of them together. Um, you know, I think what we've learned uh, throughout the last year, more than any time prior to this, is there's a component of you know nutrition and exercise and sleep, and there's also other layers you know of generalized health and then you know mental health as a component of that. These things all have interactions together, and so one is contingent on the other. You know, so it's not like you can you know say, well, I'm going to get as much sleep as I need, and then you're going to neglect the other aspects of your life because it's going to have a negative impact. And um, and to your point, there's a balance, you know, between all of these things. I mean, as much as we would all like to be perfect, we will never be. Um, so having some balance of like, um, you know, exercising a couple of days a week, eating healthier, whatever that means to you. I, I always equated it, you know, if you're if you're trying to create a goal of of eating better. I don't have to tell you how to eat better. You probably are very aware of some of the things that you're doing wrong, right? If you're, and, and make it very small goals. You know, if you're eating a dozen donuts a day, 
try eating a half a dozen donuts a day. Like that's an improvement. It's not optimized by any means, but it's better than a dozen, right? So, um, and I think you have to make these incremental steps. You know, if somebody says, you know, go eat a rice cake for the rest of your life and you're gonna live to 100, I'm gonna say, I wanna die at 60 and eat pizza. Like, you know, like you have to have some balance somewhere. So I think that's the benefit of like really looking at these different categories that you've outlined and defined, you know, the personal side, the nutrition, the sleep, the mental health, the, you know, the, the um, physical health, I think are, um, you know, it's a, it's a stool. You need all legs to, to be the same size in order for them to, to work well. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below to be notified of our upcoming videos. If you are looking to level up your life, click the link in the description to visit our website and download your free life calibration workbook. This tool is your framework for identifying what's missing, refocusing your effort and energy, and systematically improving the quality of every area of your life.